Previously on Ayodhya Decoded, in May 1991, Rajiv Gandhi was assassinated. Two months later, the Congress came to power with P. V. Narasimha Rao as Prime Minister. In Uttar Pradesh, after the 1990 firing on Kar Sevaks, the Mulayam Singh Yadav government was voted out. The BJP came to power on the back of their promise of Ram Rajya. Kalyan Singh became Chief Minister. The UP government then acquired 2.77 acres of the disputed land, and despite court orders, Kar Seva was allowed to continue here through most of 1991 and 92. On October 30th, the VHP organized a Dharam Sansad asking Kar Sevaks to converge on Ayodhya on December 6th. At 6 a.m. on a wintry morning, journalists and Kar Sevaks began arriving at the disputed site. By 10 a.m., sadhus, sants, and BJP leaders like Advani and Murli Manohar Joshi had also reached. As per the official itinerary. The car seva was to begin at 11 in the morning and the plan was to simply take water and sand from the Sariyu river and clean the platform that had been constructed near the disputed site. At 12 o'clock a long loud whistle was heard and while the sadhus and sants continued to clean the platform the younger car sevaks were seen moving towards the disputed structure. They broke open the barbed wire they used ropes to climb up the disputed structure and then hammers to ultimately break down the entire structure appeals by bjp and rss leaders to the car sevaks to retreat fell on deaf ears prime minister narsimha rao had stationed about 80 companies of the crpf in ayodhya quick reaction teams had conducted mock drills on bikes But on December 6, none of them could be deployed because of the sheer number of car sevaks who were involved. As soon as the car sevaks reached the Sanctum Sanctorum, the idol of Ram was taken away by paramilitary forces to another location. It is at this point that the attack on journalists and cameramen started. The car sevaks did not want any proof of the demolition to remain. At 2 o'clock, the first dome collapsed. Some 25 car sevaks who were buried under were pulled out and rushed to the hospital in press vehicles. At 3:30, the second dome gave way, and by 5 p.m., the entire structure had been razed to the ground and the debris leveled. In the accompanying frenzy, some mosques and homes of Muslims in Ayodhya were also burned down. In the evening when journalists went back to the disputed site say that they saw car sevaks laying bricks and cement and creating a staircase that would lead to the spot where the idols would once again be placed a tent was constructed and prayers were conducted